happy Vesakhi students. Today we will discuss next solid state laser that is neodymium YAG laser. So this is second type of solid state laser. The full form of this ND YAG laser is neodymium doped yttrium aluminium garnet. So it is again four level laser. As we know, there are two types of lasers, three level and four level. So this one is four level laser. In this laser, this ND YAG is used as laser medium or active medium. We know that there are three components of the laser that is active medium, second pumping source and third one is resonator. So we have classified all these lasers on the basis of active medium used that is it may be solid state, may be liquid state or may be in gaseous state. So in this case it is solid state laser and active medium is ND YAG that is neodymium dot yttrium aluminium garnet. Next. This is the typical diagram of this laser. So it is similar to ruby laser. As we know, number one, there is active medium. Active medium is ND YAG rod. Here, this is rod is active medium rod or ND YAG rod. This is active source, first one. And second part is pumping source. So in this case, this xenon flash lamp is used as pumping source. And third one is resonator. So these two mirrors, M1 and M2, which are parallel to each other and they are placed here. So this is third component. So all these diagrams are classified into three categories or three parts. That is active medium, pumping source and resonator. This is energy level diagram for ND YAG laser. That is, it is four level laser diagram. So as we have already studied this four level diagram. So this is ground state and this is E1 it is and this is E4. This E4 is called excited state. There are two excited states and there is ground state E1 and E2, E3. These are two another states that is metastable state and this one is uh, lower level, lower laser level state. So we know that initially all ND positive 3 ions means in this case the mobile ions which will jump from this state to higher state those ions are neodymium positive ions that is ND 3 positive ions with the help of pumping the second part pumping that is we supply energy to those ions they will jump from this state to these states this is these are excited states so some one remain in the, in this state and others will <coughs> reach the other state that is E4, E4 and E4 dash both are excited states. Basically these are two components of E4 states. So in this state 700 nanometer wavelength is required to jump from this to this state and in this case 800 nanometer wavelength of light is required from jump of uh, ND positive ions from this state to this state. So this is absorption basically absorption part and second part is emission. So we know that in four level laser emission is taking place into three parts first, second, third. The first one is spontaneous emission that is very fast emission because in this state the lifetime is very small 10 raised to the power minus 7 second and in this state lifetime is long large that is 10 to the power minus 3 or milliseconds and in this state again this is stable state and after that this is spontaneous emission so spontaneous stimulated and spontaneous that is fast slow and fast emission so we know that those ions and the three positive ions will automatically reach in the e3 state so in this case number of ions are more than that of the ground state either e1 or e2 state so this condition is called population inversion condition so which is required for the laser production and by stimulation 
कि वी हैव टू अप्लाई और सप्लाई सम एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी टू दीज आइंस फॉर जंपिंग फ्रॉम दिस स्टेट टू दिस स्टेट एंड इन दिस केस लेजर लाइट इज प्रोड्यूस तो दिस इज बेसिकली दिस इज लेजर रीजन और लेजर ट्रांजिशन एंड लेजर लाइट ऑफ वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स फोर माइक्रोमीटर और टेन सिक्सटी फोर नैनोमीटर वेव लेंथ दिस लाइट लाइट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इन दिस लेजर इज ऑफ दिस वेव लेंथ एंड दिस इज फास्ट अगेन सो दिस इज वी हैव ऑलरेडी फेमिलियर विद दिस फोर लेवल लेजर डायग्राम तो सेम मैकेजम फॉर दिस लेजर इज दियर सो डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस डायग्राम दैट इज इट इज फोर लेवल लेजर सिस्टम and require lower pumping energy in this case in four level we require lower pump energy and terminal laser level sufficiently far from ground state that is terminal this one e2 state and e3 is metastable level or metastable state we know that lifetime in this state is in milliseconds or 230 microsecond or 0.23 milliseconds and two pump bands we have already discussed 700 and 800 nanometer so two band, uh, pump bands of this wavelength are required and pump is intense xenon flash lamp we have already studied this lamp and ions are nd3 positive ions that is neodymium three positive ions that is level e4 decays to upper level e3 this one 4 to 3 that is fast uh, transition this is called spontaneous transition and population reversion easily achieved between e2 e3 and e2 this is e3 and e2 between this population reversion is achieved easily so next the light emitted is 10 64 nanometer light so it this wavelength lies in near ir region that is near infrared region so next one in this laser nd3 positive ions takes place of yttrium ions and doping concentration in this case doping concentration is 0.72% nearly 0.72% by weight corresponding to 1.4 into 10 power 26 atoms per meter cube this is a density number density and the dimensions of rod which are, uh, we have used is 10 cm long and 12 mm in diameter that is the dimensions of uh, this one this rod these are the dimensions of this rod yes now the output obtained so output is in the form of pulses of variable repetition high rate they are repeating again and again and overall efficiency of this laser is 0.1 to 1% in range <coughs> so pulse output is there tungsten halide in candescent lamps if you use this lamp for pumping source then continuous wave output is obtained in case of xenon lamp we obtained pulse output pulse like output of laser light but in case of tungsten halide lamp we got continuous wave output so that is continuous wave output power of over 1 kilowatt is obtained and can be pumped by dyed laser this is for high efficiency so we can replace this xenon lamp with the another lamps or another pumping sources <coughs> now these are the advantages of nd yag laser so these are advantages that is no chances of wasting material in this case because it is in solid state both continuous and pulse output is possible from these lasers so we can get continuous as well as pulsed output of the laser light and solid state lasers have high high value of uh, high intensity of light then construction is comparatively simple and output power ranging from 0.04 watt to high value that is 600 watt so this is very wide range of the uh, output of the laser cost of this laser is economical basically this laser is very cheap and disadvantage is efficiency of this laser is low as compared to carbon dioxide laser and great disadvantage is 
main disadvantage of this laser is divergence which is not constant and range is 1 milli radian to 20 milli radians so this is angular divergence it is very small output power is also not very high as compared to carbon dioxide so when we compare this anti jag laser with carbon dioxide laser so there are so many disadvantages also due to thermal lasing in solid laser the power loss occur when the rod gets too hot so when the solid solid become hot then its uh, output become low which is not there in gas lasers so these are the applications that is it is used in the drilling holes in metals or this pulse type social laser can be used in medical applications such as in endoscopy it is used in military that is in military applications and it is used that the target destination system we have to find the target where we have to fire that is a target we can uh, attain the target by this laser so these are this is all about this nd egg laser in the next lecture we will discuss next semiconductor laser that is again next type of social laser so thank you very much have a nice day